To create reports, we need a couple of major things. Data, things like comments, marks and grades, and some kind of method for presenting all the information to the people who want to read it. In Central, we call that layouts. In this example, we're going to look at layouts from the beginning and build what a report will look like from scratch. From this, you'll be able to start configuring the report's layouts for your school. First, let's make some assumptions. You've created a current reporting period. You haven't rolled over from a previous reporting period, because if you have, you'd probably have already created a layout. And you're going to have to create some templates for the first time. Let's get started. Navigate to Academic Reports, and then Academic Reports Setup. In this example, we're working in a primary report, but the concepts remain the same for a high school report. Head straight to Layouts and then click on Report Templates. Let's pause here for a moment and take note of the following. Templates help you create the layout of your reports. Templates work independently from data entry. That means you can be entering reports information right up until the day you want to distribute your reports. A template is made of a number of components which can be edited, moved or removed. You can think of a component as a thing that does a specific job within a template. Click on New Report Template. Let's start by giving it a name. It's a good idea to be specific with template names, so we'll call it Semester 2 2022. You've got five options to choose from, but since we're starting from the beginning, we'll click Use a Template. Notice there are several to choose from already, and you can preview them below. You can either scroll through the options or use the drop down. Let's choose Contemporary. Notice that we see something straight away that doesn't look quite right. I've done that on purpose to highlight the importance of creating an overall assessment schema first. Quite simply, no schema, no report. In primary reports, you'll need an assessment schema. In high school reports, it's called an overall schema. If you're not sure about how to create an overall schema or an assessment schema, then I recommend you check out these videos first. Fortunately, here's one I prepared earlier. If you have created a schema, you'll see your report start to take shape. Ah, that's looking much better. Note that you've landed on the Design tab. Before we go too much further, let's click back over the left-hand menu to see our list of templates. Of course, there's only one, the one that we just created. The buttons on the right is where all the customization takes place. Let's start with Details. Remember, a template is not a Word document, but if you've used Word, then many of these options may seem familiar. There's also a brief description of each option on the right. You can experiment with these options depending on your school's requirements. Give some consideration to the style of your final document. How you use things like watermarks, headers and footers, and page margins can add significantly to the final presentation. Remember to click Save. If you want to remove the template and start again, Click Delete. This is the only place where you can remove or delete a template. We look at styles, design and subject layouts and components separately. 